This video will cover an application of quadratic functions related to projectile motion. A rocket carrying fireworks is launched from a hill 144 feet above a lake. The rocket will fall into the lake after exploding at its maximum height. The rocket's height above the surface of the lake is given by s of t, which equals negative 16t squared, plus 128t, plus 144, where t is the number of seconds after the rocket has launched. Part A is to find the rocket's height after two seconds. Well, because t is the number of seconds and s is the height, we can find s of 2 to answer this question. s of 2 is negative 16 times 2 squared plus 128 times 2 plus 144. And when we simplify that, we get 336. So the rocket is at a height of 336 feet after two seconds. Part B asks us to find what is the maximum height reached by the rocket and after how many seconds will it reach its maximum height? Well, because this is a quadratic function whose graph opens down because of the value of A being negative, we know that the vertex is where the height will reach its max. So to answer the question about maximum height, we need to find the vertex of this function. So t is equal to negative b over 2a, which is negative 128, divided by 2 times a, which is negative 16. So this is negative 128 over negative 32, or 4. Now that represents the time that it's going to take to reach the maximum height. So in 4 seconds, the rocket will reach its maximum height. To find the height, we now plug in 4 in place of t. s of 4 is equal to negative 16 times 4 squared plus 128 times 4 plus 144. And when we simplify that on our calculator, we will get 400. So the rocket reaches a maximum height of 400 feet after four seconds. And then part C says, after how many seconds will the rocket hit the lake? So that is, when will the height above the lake be zero? That asks us to solve the equation negative 16 t squared plus 128 t plus 144 is equal to zero. Unfortunately, all of those values are divisible by 16, so we can divide that equation through by negative 16 to get an equivalent form, which is t squared minus 8t minus 9 is equal to 0. And this equation is quadratic, and it does factor because there are factors of 9 whose difference is 8. So that factors as t minus 9 times t plus 1 which is equal to 0, which gives us that either t is equal to 9 or t is equal to negative 1. And the negative 1 doesn't make sense in this context, so it's going to take 9 seconds for the rocket to come back down to the lake. 